Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the iPhone's keyboard and we have some amazing features of the keyboard on iOS to talk about. A lot of features that probably most users don't even know or haven't even ever used them on their devices. Now we're starting things off here on the home screen and we're talking about the Siri keyboard. When you go to type to Siri, if you have Apple intelligence on your device, you know that you will have this new interface right here when you go to type to Siri and you will find a few different suggestions right here. Now you can see right there we have like a logo of Siri. That's actually a hidden button. I can tap there to hide the suggestions from Siri. I can tap back again right there to show the suggestions again. It's actually really awesome and it does work really, really well. Now this will work also within apps. So when you go to an app and you invoke type to Siri, you will see this pop up right there. What can I do in Safari in this case? This is a new feature coming to iOS. But when I tap right there, you can see I can show and hide it anytime I want. So it's not just a logo of Siri here. It's actually a hit button. Now with the keyboard of your iPhone, you can actually do a lot more than you think. Not just typing, you can also convert things. Now what you need to do is make sure that you head on to your settings, go under general and then go right here to keyboard and make sure that you have enabled the math for your keyboard show math results make sure that you have that enabled and now you can see right here if i go to my keyboard i can just go ahead and type something like 75 fahrenheit here and all i have to do to actually get this conversion is tap the equals right there and you can see right here it will show me on the predictive text field it will actually show me the results so i can go ahead and type right here it will show the whole thing like 75 equals 23.8 or i can just show the result by tapping right there which means that it will remove the previous things and it will just show me basically the conversion the result there which is really awesome now this will work of course for other things as well like maybe converting centimeters so let's say 80 centimeters here equals and it will show you the results so in inches you can see the result in inches right there which is really awesome and so basically all the different units that you can convert on the calculator app you can do that directly from the keyboard without having to actually go to the calculator app and now of course here talking about calculations you can make calculations on the keyboard so if i just want to type something right there i can just go ahead and type basically everything I want. Once I hit the equals, it will show me the result right there. Now, again, this is really cool as it will show you like the whole problem that you type right there, or you can just show all, only the result, whichever one you want, and then just send it right away. Next up, we're moving to the settings here and head on under accessibility and you will find something really interesting here. So head on to accessibility, find the keyboard settings right here. So there we go, keyboard and typing and enable here hover typing. Now this is actually really useful. So whenever you're typing, it will show you that like zoomed in like section right there where you can see in much bigger letters, whatever you're typing. So that's really awesome that Apple has added it. And of course, it will be useful for a lot of people. Now you can choose here where you want to display it, you can display it at the top if you want to. So if I just tap right there, it will actually be displayed right there at the top of the screen, you can just set it in line or dock to the keyboard, which was the first one that I showed you guys, then you will have of course, the font here You can just choose any font you want. And you can also change the size and the background as well. So you can see the text right there You can change that to any size you want, you can see the hover text right there, which is actually really, really useful. I know a lot of people need this. And you can actually go ahead and customize it any way you like, and also place it in any place you want on your keyboard. Now, one of the coolest things that Apple has done with the keyboard on iOS 18 is the ability to actually have two different languages on one keyboard. So you don't have to switch between different keyboards. You head on to general and then right here, go to your keyboard. When you go to the keyboard to add a new one, there will be languages that are actually supported. So if you add like an, a language that is supported, you will be able to have two different languages in one on the keyboard. So whatever you're typing here, it will actually switch to that without having to just go and completely switch to the other keyboard. So if I add this, you can see I can add it to the English keyboard, or I can add it as a new keyboard. So if I choose English keyboard, then we will have the bilingual keyboard right here. So 
let me just delete this. So what you will see right there is the language right there, English and Spanish, you will see it right there on the space bar. And now the predictive text and everything will work with two languages, you just type anything you want, and it switches automatically. Now on your keyboard, if you have autocorrect enabled, you will see something like this. If you type a word, maybe you just intend to write it that way. Maybe it's on something on another language or a name or something, but the keyboard will autocorrect. You can see how you do it right here. So let me just type something. So let's say battery right here. So if I just type battery like that, you can see it will actually auto correct it. But let's say I just want to type it like that with one T. All I have to do now is just tap the back button and it will show me that button right there, the undo button, I can just tap right there. And it will undo the auto correction that it has done and just type the word as I intended to type. Now on iOS, Probably everyone knows now that you can tap and hold here the space bar to actually move the cursor anywhere you want on the text. It is actually a cool feature and it was huge, it was actually viral once it had been discovered on iOS. But did you know something else? If you want to select text, you probably do this, you will place the cursor somewhere and then tap to select right there. What you can do with this trick is once you go to the like trackpad feature here, just place the cursor and just tap with the other finger. And now you can actually start selecting the text. How easy is that you can just go ahead and tap anywhere on the trackpad and you have enabled selection and just then just move your finger to select any text you need. Here's another cool feature of the keyboard. Whenever you're on your keyboard and you go to your emoji, did you know that if you're on messages, you can actually react with your emojis as well. And you can do that simply by dragging any emoji from the keyboard, you can also zoom it in and out, you can rotate it if you want to. And then you can just place it at a text right there. If you just want to react to a text, so you don't have to just use your stickers, you can just drag any emoji you want directly to a text to react. Now while you're typing, of course, once you start typing a sentence, you will have the right here, the uppercase letter. But did you know this, when you want to just write everything on cat on like uppercase letters, you don't have to go back here, you will have to just double tap there. And now you will see this like different arrow. Now you will have everything in uppercase. Now what's really cool is that you can also type like one letter in uppercase real quick without having to tap here and then tap the word to go the, the letter actually to go back, just tap and hold here and just go to any letter and release and you will type the uppercase letter while the keyboard will go back automatically to the lower case. And last but not least for the keyboard of your iPhone, most of the keys will have like alternative characters like if I go right here somewhere, let's say at the O and I just tap and hold, I can see all these different alternatives, of course, for different languages. So sometimes if you, if you don't find a letter that you need, maybe you're typing on another language, you don't actually even need to add the keyboard for the other language, you can just go ahead, tap and hold right there. And as you can see right here, we'll find all the different options. Now this will go for symbols as well. So here we have the dollar symbol. If I tap and hold right there, we have other currencies, as you can see right there, we have euro, we have pounds, and all that's stuff and we can just go ahead and add it from here again not needing to add another keyboard so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully learned something new today with these amazing hidden features of the keyboard again thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one